All right, I am out here with Big Poe. We are playing the famous Longa Burger course. It is known as Virtues Golf Club now. We're playing it from the Tippy Tips, which this is a legit course. Literally top two public golf course in the whole state of Ohio. I believe the rating was 74. The slope was like 130s. Yeah, 139 slope. I think it was 175 rating. Or 75, not 175. So yeah, it is a tough, tough track. 7,200 yards. We'll see how it goes. Probably not very good for myself, but who knows? I've been striking the ball decent. Let me tell you, this course, which on my shitty Canon dad cam that I'm using, you probably just can't see it, but man, this course is just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. One of the best looking courses that I'll play all year and also one of the toughest. But I escaped away, me and Big Poe, with a bogey. Started out, I would definitely be taking that all day long. That's all my goal is, is shoot bogey golf. Dry big toe. Your swing is so good that, God, look at that. That's beautiful, dude. Yeah, I mean. 197. Yeah, it doesn't look that far, does it? No, that's what that first hole fucked me up. Worse. So scared about those stupid bunkers, man. Yeah. Just I know if I was in those, those are so deep. I did, well, they're they're a lot better than the bunkers you normally play, though. Yeah, but I want to be seeing the green. I went judge smells. Not what I wanted. Trey Woods, I just had to punch it out. Get out. Oh boy. Digging it up and on on my third from about 115 out. Okay, good shot. 
hoping to keep this bogey streak alive. So that is three for three on the bogey train. Like I said at the start, that's all my whole goal is. Brian Poe has a birdie putt right here. Oh, Sally McPherson did. So this is the first par five, but let's take a look at this dude. Absolutely gorgeous. What a hole. What a hole. Man, bro. That's a bomb. Actually, I'm really headed back yet. Ain't no doubt about that, dude. It just did not. Yeah, look. Downhill adds a couple yards. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. That is, it's a nice that is a beautiful sight. And it covered it. Yeah, make it over that bunker. I know, it's going to be close, dude. Yeah. So basically, I can hit a six iron all day. Yeah. It is downhill. Yeah, but I ain't getting it. No. But I'm going straight at the pump. Yeah. That's why I want to make sure. So I had my first legit look at par. Absolutely choked. But oh well, plus four through four. I will take it. Or was that hole three? No, that's hole four. Yeah. Plus four through four on the bogey golf. If I can just minimize my airs, I should be fine. All right, if we go over here, can't even see the pin. It's that 204 yard par three. It is tucked to the right. I'm gonna hit a three iron. Big Puzz probably hitting, what are you hitting? A hybrid something? Oh, a little hybrid, three hybrid. Yeah, that's smart. Trying to save this club. It's tough. Good strain. No, you're going to like that one. It's coming back. Yep, you're going to like that a lot. That makes it. Nice shot. Ryan, it's. <laughs>
And so finally I hit my first par on hole number five, that par three, and I will take it. That is a tough par three. Here we got another par four on hole number six. Another just gorgeous hole. Absolutely gorgeous. Like a bullet. Hot as balls out here. Stay a little left, a little left. Oh, I think you're going to be perfect. You don't think it went down in that no, bunker? I think, I think you're just left of it. I was flirting with it. Just don't let it, just don't let it be down. Just commit, commit to it. Oh yeah, man, I've been working on it so much. You Yesterday got it. I used it twice and stuck it close. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Damn, Gina. Got it. Oh, <laughs> a good chance to get a birdie there but I'll tell you what if you saw Brian Poe's putt which if I didn't show it I will show it right now man what a putt what a putt Woo. that is a slippery 8 to 10 foot putt I just missed right there just burned the corner but tapped it in for par that's Back-to-back -back pars, and let me tell you, I said it in my last video, it's hot as balls out. Woo! Feel one. I better not go in that bunker. Oh! No! I don't see any trouble in front of it. No, I don't think there is. There's some to the left. <laughs> On it! Oh, that's a darn. Let me tell you, I just hit a pitching wedge from 130 out. Absolute dart. Give myself my second, I believe, legit birdie shot here. See if I can convert up. And also, I didn't mention it, but earlier this morning, I completed my fifth competition. I'm actually like an 11-4 is what they put me at, which I don't believe that I'm quite that good, but in competition I am. But man, I stuck this dude close. Look at that. Oh, looking like a pro. Looking like a pro. What a shot. Oh, dirty D's. Sorry, dude. Dirty D's. That was a dirty dungaree. That's what that was. Yeah, it was. You deserve that one. I just, I knew it was going to go a little bit. I was like, just hit it straight with some pace, and I just didn't hit it hard enough. I pussied it. Like I've said, again, it is hot as balls. I am rolling sweat. Absolutely rolling, but I picked this sun umbrella up, and let me tell you, it definitely helps get that sun off of you. But man, back-to-back -back holes, I had legit birdie chances, especially that last one, and I'm gonna blame it on the group behind me. We have a foursome. Been on our ass since hole one. They're the fastest playing foursome ever. I saw them, I just went, just tried to push that putt in. It's the, wrong, it's the wrong deal to make on that birdie putt. Should have taken my time. 
but we're actually going to let these dudes play through so we can take our time and enjoy this course because man it is absolutely gorgeous look at this hole look at this hole absolutely gorgeous it is a split fairway par four you can go left of these trees or you can go right right place it longer but it's safer what a hole You went after that one. Yeah, and that's what I always do. I end up stuck hooking it. Yeah, hitting three. Just took two of those pars and put them to bogeys. There you go. Ah, oh, ball moving for your thing to fuck you up. Yeah, nah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I had a bit of a three par train then I got up to this hole and just tried to over hit my tee shot blew it into the woods had to hit three off of the box and after that I was actually decent I would have been I would have classified been a par if it wasn't yeah. yep. no way it would have been a bogey oh, yeah. but with the penalty strokes and everything he goes out to be a triple but I'm still one under bogey golf going into hole nine so my goal was to hit bogey golf it's a very tough course, especially at 7,200 yards. So I'm on pace for, I think, like a 44 right now. I will take it. That pin is tucked tight. Nice shot shape. That is on it. There you go. Middle of the green. That's fine. Nice birdie in the zone. In the zone, Brian Poe with the birdie. All right, I had some dirty deeds done dirt cheap on that putt. I was pumping that par putt in. I was so certain it was going in and it just dipped around the edge, popped out for a bogey. But I haven't looked at my scorecard, but my whole goal was to hit bogey golf, which would be 45. I think I hit a 44. And that's a 44 with what I'll call an unnecessary triple bogey. So realistically, I could have fired a 40-41. I would have been very pleased. But nonetheless, I'll take a 40. I mean, there's a lot of excuses when it comes to golf, but we are the two sphincters hitting the balls. <laughs> it is hot as balls out. My three and a half inch dick is hanging at least four. <laughs> at least four, it's so hot. And man, this course just destroyed my asshole in a matter of seconds. My butthole was turned inside out. Yeah.